Derbyshire is blessed with many things, and one thing that the county isn't short of is tourist attractions. From the stunning stately homes of Chatsworth, Kedleston Hall, and Cork Abbey to theme parks, museums, cable cars, and even an aquarium, there is a lot to be discovered. And not all the attractions cost a fortune to visit, as Derbyshire is home to some spectacular scenery, such as Dovedale, which, apart from car parking, is completely free. If you are planning to visit soon, you are in for a treat as new offerings are continually being added to the many already available in the county. So, here is the list of 10 best things to do in Derbyshire, England. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. Heights of Abraham. In 60 acres, this Victorian country park even has a name that invokes a bygone era. There is a cable car lifting you up to the hilltop park. From here, you will be amazed by the panoramas of the Derwent Valley from the Victoria Prospect Tower. The park also possesses two caves, the Great Masson Cavern and the Great Rutland Cavern. Kids can spend time in two adventure play areas. There is also a cafe and an exhibition hall covering the history of the estate. Furthermore, it showcases an amazing fossil collection. Number 2. Blue John Cavern. At Blue John Cavern, which is located in Castleton, you can experience one of the outstanding caves in the region. The cave is one of the four show caves and visitors have to traverse 245 steps that lead to it. At the cave, the stone that also carries the Blue John name surrounds visitors. The cave has over 14 types of bluestone which are semi-precious and still mined in the region. Much of the blue-hued stone is currently used to create jewelry. Important places to visit in the cave include Lord Mulgrave's dining room and waterfall cavern that has a striking dome-shaped ceiling. Number 3. Peak District Lead Mining Museum. The local lead mining industry has been assigned to the past but was once one of the region's main avenues of income. The museum in Matlock Bath's Grand Pavilion has three mock mine tunnels, in which you will taste the conditions miners including children were expected to work in. Kids will get a chance to crawl through tunnels and play with interactive stations. You will also get to wonder at the immense Wills Founder water pressure engine, built in Colebrookdale in Shropshire in 1819, and using hydraulic power to pump water from deep underground. Number 4. The Old Original Bakewell Pudding Shop with a rich history dating to the 1800s, the old original Bakewell Pudding Shop is a popular spot among visitors to Derbyshire. Located in Bakewell, the shop is famed for its pudding created by hand and is topped off with almond-flavored custard. First created when a cook in a local inn misinterpreted a recipe, the pudding is now a culinary favorite of the area. The shop also functions as a restaurant and offers a famous tart, the original version of which is covered with icing. The other locally famous tart on the menu incorporates flaked almonds. Number 5. Chatsworth House. The seat of the Duke of Devonshire, Chatsworth House is one of the best maintained stately houses in the county of Derbyshire. The house had belonged to the Cavendish family for 16 generations. Currently, the house is rented by the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire and is part of a working farm. Inside, visitors can pay for a guided tour and walk through several areas and over two dozen rooms that are filled with art and artifacts. Sculptures, art, and more are present in the house, and these represent several thousand years of Egyptian and Roman civilization. Number 6. Dovedale. Dovedale is a valley in the Peak District of England. The land is owned by the National Trust and annually attracts a million visitors. 
The valley was cut by the River Dove and runs for just over three miles between Milldale in the north and the Wooded Ravine near Thorpe Cloud and Bunster Hill in the south. In the Wooded Ravine, a set of stepping stones cross the river, and there are two caves known as the Dove Holes. Dovedale's other attractions include rock pillars such as Island Rock, Vieta's Bridge, and the limestone features Lover's Leap and Reynard's Cave. A dramatic limestone ravine, busy with wildlife and rare wildflowers impressive rock outcrops, tranquil woodlands, and of course the much-loved stepping stones which cross the River Dove. Number 7. National Trust, Hardwick Hall. Hardwick Hall in Derbyshire is an architecturally significant country house from the Elizabethan era, a leading example of the Elizabethan prodigy house. Built between 1590 and 1597 for Bess of Hardwick, it was designed by the architect Robert Smithson, an exponent of the Renaissance style. Hardwick Hall is one of the earliest examples of the English interpretation of this style, which came into fashion having slowly spread from Florence. Its arrival in Britain coincided with the period when it was no longer necessary or legal to fortify it the domestic dwelling. The building was ruined and required stabilization and subsequent restoration. The hall is fully open to the public and received 298,283 visitors in 2019. Number 8. Critch Tramway Village. The National Tramway Museum is a tram museum located at Critch, Derbyshire, England. The museum contains over 60 trams built between 1873 and 1982 and is set within a recreated period village containing a working pub, cafe, old-style sweet shop, and tram depots. The museum's collection of trams runs through the village setting with visitors transported out into the local countryside and back. The museum is operated by the Tramway Museum Society, a registered charity. The trams at Critch mostly ran in cities in the United Kingdom prior to the 1960s, with trams rescued as the systems closed. Most of the UK tram networks, with a few exceptions, closed before the 1960s. The last to close was Glasgow Corporation Tramways in 1962, a tramway well represented at the museum, leaving just the Blackpool Tramway as the sole surviving first-generation tramway. Number 9. Mam Tor. Mam Tor is a 517 metres hill near Castleton in the high peak of Derbyshire, England. Its name means Mother Hill, so-called because frequent landslides on its eastern face have resulted in a multitude of mini hills beneath it. These landslides, which are caused by unstable lower layers of shale, also give the hill its alternative name of Shivering Mountain. The hill is crowned by a late Bronze Age and early Iron Age univallet hillfort, and two Bronze Age bowl barrows. Mantor was declared to be one of the seven wonders of the peak by Thomas Hobbes in his 1636 book The Myra Bilibus Pecci. Simon Jenkins rates the panorama from Kinder Scout to Stanage Edge as one of the top ten in England. Number 10. Gulliver's Kingdom. In Matlock Bath, Gulliver's Kingdom is a theme park aimed towards families with children aged between 2 and 13. It opened in 1978 and was the first of three Gulliver's Travels themed attractions in England. You will be able to ride in the roller coasters, including the steel built switchback, as well as a cycle monorail, fairground style amusements, and water rides. The attraction is also rested on a sharp hill and has distant views over the heights of Abraham and Stark homes. The last word. So, guys, this was the best list of things to do in Derbyshire. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. When in Derbyshire, you can experience the best cuisine as well as head off the beaten path on adventure tours. An exciting trip to Derbyshire is just around the corner if you know the right tours to pick and the best things to do in the region. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then Tripar is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the world.
Make sure you subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you in the next video.